Hey guys, this is Florian from Staking Facilities. Today we want to show you how to participate in the Edge Rare Lock Drop coming next month. So a lot of delegators asked us how to do this and we thought we'd just make a short video to show you how to do it. Um, first of all, you can see I'm already on the Edge Rare website, Edge Rare slash Lock Drop exactly for, for the Lock Drop. And the first thing you can see is that there's two options right now. One is for mainnet, one is for Robston. So mainnet is the Ethereum mainnet where you act with real money. Um, Robston is an Ethereum test network where you can try out the process, but you will not log real Ether. You will not receive real edge tokens. And uh, since the lock drop isn't live yet, we will show you the process on uh, Robston. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is we need to generate an edge address. And to do this, we will go to the instructions link and there are basically two methods to do this. The first one is to use edges online key generator, uh, which is not that secure since it's on your web browser, it's connected with the internet and you have to trust the browser, but it is very simple. You just go to this URL and you click generate and what you will get is like your seed phrase which is your private key and your public key basically your address so now i will copy this inside this document uh, if you do this in real with real money make sure not to copy it on your pc don't store it as a screenshot write it on a piece of paper and store it somewhere safe don't show it to anyone this is very important. Um, there's also another method that Edgeware and also we um, would advise you to use, but it's more complicated. And yeah, the thing with it is you would need an air gap computer to do this. This means like a computer that is not connected to the internet. Uh, for this example, I will use my MacBook, which is currently com uh, connected to um, the internet. Uh, I would use another machine that is air gapped for this on mainnet, uh, but just for purposes to show you how this works, I will use this machine. Um, so what you need to do is you will go to the getting started page and you first need to install Rust and Cargo. And there's this nice website called RustUp, which gives you one command that you just can copy and paste in your terminal. and it will install Rust and Cargo for you. And what we want is we just want the default installation. So we press one and enter. And for me, this went really fast because I already installed it. For you, it could take a little while. Um, the next step we want to do is we want to run this command down here. Um, this configures the current terminal session to already be able to use Rust. Okay, so this is really easy. And let me just clear my terminal real quick so we can go on with the next step. And the next step is to install subkey. Subkey is a key generator from Parity, uh, which you can use to generate your keys. So what you're gonna do is you copy the next command uh, and you also paste this one to your uh, terminal. And this might take a while to install, but uh, basically this will download the substrate repository from GitHub and build all those things for you. Um, this might take a while, but uh, if you have any issues with this, just make sure to uh, update your Rust um, before you do this, just with the simple command Rust up update like this. Okay. And afterwards it should work. So let's see, it's still downloading crates. Um, I'll be back once this is done. Okay, so uh, it finished installing, took me about 20 minutes. In the end, it shows you like a green success. So you know you'll finish. Um, but now that you have like had like the patience to wait 20 minutes for it to install, you can finally generate um, edge keys in your terminal. So that's the next thing we're gonna do is we will copy this command, which is subkey generate, and we will generate a new key. 
So you will see that again, like in the generator, it will have a phrase. In this case, it will also have the seed. It will also have the public key like in the generator and it will also show you an address. So again, you might want to copy that. Um, please don't copy it in the file, as I said before. Write it down, especially your um, seed phrase. This is really important. This is basically how you can access your funds later on. Um, and store it somewhere secure, not on your PC. Okay, so we now have the, the address, your edge address, and you can basically ignore the rest of this because it's, if you're a validator, and I assume for this video, you will not uh, want to be a validator, you just want to participate in the lock drop. So, right, um, we now have like the edge public key, which is the hex. You can see public key hex. We will copy that one. This is not a private information, so it's fine to paste it in here. So you can see I pasted this one over here. And next we need to decide on how long we want to lock our tokens. We can either signal, which doesn't signal at all, or we can lock our tokens for like our ether for a certain time uh, amount of time. Uh, in this case, uh, since we're on testnet, I don't care if those uh, ETH get locked, so I will choose 12 months and I will decide to lock one ETH. Um, yeah, so the next thing we want to do is we say like, no, we don't want to validate at network launch since I assume for this video that you will not be a validator, but just a normal person that wants to uh, get edge tokens and later stake them. So I will choose no here. And now we have uh, different options how to do this. In this case, I will use the free uh, MetaMask to um, sign this transaction and submit it. Um, but you could also just use my crypto or uh, the CLI, which I wouldn't recommend in this case, just use one of the two above. So for MetaMask, I just click on this. It will open my MetaMask window. Um, I will have to connect it to the smart contract and it will show me that I want to lock one ETH. Uh, this is how much gas it costs. So in total, I will pay 1.00015 ETH for this. And one ETH will be locked away for one year. So after a year, I can claim it back. So I will press. Oh, and also maybe this is interesting for you. You can see that it says Robson Test Network up here, uh, which means I'm currently on a test network and not sending real money to this contract, which is really important. Um, so I, I click submit. Sorry, this is in German. Um, submit means bestätigen in German. So I click on here, uh, it will take a while and it's still pending. Let's see how long it takes. Okay, you can see here that the transaction from uh, MetaMask, it worked. You can see that it's uh, succeeded. Um, you can see that I locked one ether in here and yeah, you can see that um, everything worked as it should be. Okay, so I went and got my Legend Nano S real quick. And now we want to try to uh, lock drop with the Ledger, which is already in the Ethereum app, and my crypto. And what is really important is that you set contract data uh, in the Ethereum application to enabled or on so that my crypto can interact with the smart contract. And as before, we want to be on Robston test network because um, the mainnet lock drop isn't live yet and we want to try it out without real ether. And so the next step is, again, we need to enter a public key and this time we will use the one that we created on the Edgeware website. Um, we will use six months of locking this time and we will lock 1.2 ETH. Again, we don't want to validate a network launch, so we put that to no. And now we will open um, my crypto. 
here you will uh, get a new set of instructions what you need to do so first of all we will open this link and what is important is my crypto usually automatically sets you on uh, the ethereum mainnet but if you want to try it out like we do right now you should set this to robston otherwise you would be sending real ether to that contract and you might not get it back so please make sure you're on testnet um, the next step is you want to copy this address this is the log job contract address by edgeware this will be diff a different address on mainnet so always make sure you just take this one and you should be right and now so we paste that here and we will also paste all of this text here which basically tells my crypto how to interact with um, the smart contract what function it has and so on and we will click access so now we can select a function here and in our case we want to lock so we will cl click on lock if you want to signal you would click on signal and edward also tells you this so select signal or lock and input the following data so we'll input a term in this case one because we want to uh, lock for six months if we would enter two we would lock for 12 months and this will automatically adjust to what you entered above so don't worry about this we will copy the address and we will input one here at the term and the bytes here and again we don't want to be a validator in this case so we will select false now for the next step we want to access our ledger so we click on ledger and connect to it and as you can see i have almost 1.5 eth on here on the testnet account so we'll use that one right so now as edra tells you we need to input 1.2 eth as a value enter that here and the last step is it tells you to automatically calculate gas limit and set your gas limit to 100,000. So we will uncheck that box here, but we will set the gas limit to 150,000 for a simple reason, because I tried it with 100,000 and I tried it with 120,000 and it both failed. If you use MetaMask, it automatically also chooses 150,000. So I assume this is safe, but if you use the um, value that Edgeware suggests your transaction will probably fail all right so now we will click on write and we will click on sign transaction so now it pops up at our ledger and please make sure you check that if you do it on mainnet so that everything is correct and then confirm it and it will take a second to confirm and here we have it now we have a signed transaction and we will click on send transaction you can see again that we will send 1.2 ether to that contract and it will cost us about 0 0.003 ETH transaction fee this is because we are on test that uh, you'll have to see what you pay uh, now we click on send okay so now our transaction has been broadcast to the network um, let's have a look if it's already there and if it's already confirmed yeah so this one is confirmed so you can see that we transferred 1.2 ether to that contract and that everything worked out um, as you can see here this transaction used 123,000 gas so if you would have chosen the value that uh, edgeware suggested your transaction would have failed uh, so i highly advise you to set the uh, gas limit to 150,000 something around that so yeah that's it I showed you how to use um, the lock job with metamask how to participate with my crypto I hope most of your questions are solved if you have any questions join the Edgeware telegram channel or the discord channel or you could also join the staking facilities telegram channel we're happy to answer any question you have have a great day and have fun with the lock drop.